Welcome to a very special challenge log that was sent to me and pinned by William William Mansell. So um, he named it Cherry Pie. Very mindful. It's his eighth challenge log or eighth point three one four challenge log pie. Yeah? By William Mansell and key is still mummied, very nicely wrapped. Looks like I will have a I will have a, a hard time to get it unwrapped uh, once I get this open. I've not yet sticked a pick in this lock, so I'm pretty curious um, how it uh, how it feels inside. So I'm having I'm, I'm, I'm tensioning it with a 1.3 millimeter pry bar at the pin side. And I turn it uh, counter counterclockwise, and start with this hybrid from uh, Sparrows. So the this this pick is too thick that I could access. Oops, that I could access the pins uh, from the end of this keyway. Therefore, I would need to use a very thin and pointy pick like this Sparrows fifteen thousands deep hook, then I can um, work from the end of this keyway and access the pins by poking through holes of the warding. But um, I really like more uh, sturdy picks and so I would try to use this one. It has not the maximum reach but oops, but maybe um, it's sufficient so I will see. Uh, okay, So uh, I will go from the side here and See what I can feel. So. so this is my second attempt. Um, this time I turn it clockwise. I start again with the hybrid from Sparrows. Okay, one, give me a click, very nice. Two is all the way down and it was easy to push it up. So that was three, and now maybe it's overset, I don't know. Okay, that was counter rotation from one, and another time counter rotation from one, and one return, so it's not yet overset. Okay, two, nothing, what's that, it's that four, looks like it's binding really hard, yep. It bound, was bound up really hard and I released tension and got it set. The core turned a little bit after that and maybe we are making good progress here. First attempt, attempt uh, took me, uh oh it was an overset, took me about five minutes to understand that um, with this picking, with that picking session I would not get it open. So I stopped and now I try again with the other uh, tensioning direction. Okay, one, one is very short, I believe, but I can't get it any further. Two is, I would say it's solid. It's deep down, so that's what you would expect from a challenge lock regarding its bidding. So maybe this, this hook is just not deep enough. I try with that. It's not really much deeper. Um, I think I just need a deeper uh, deeper hook. How about that? It's from uh, Peterson. Uh, it's, it's maybe too deep. I can't turn it in the keyway. In the process of turning um, it already sets pins, so it might be a little bit too deep. Now it's it's oversetting, it's, ah, okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that was a nice click. I don't know if this was four or three, but that was a spool that was binding really hard. That was was a good um, step forward, <laughs> I would say. So now it looks like that four is binding. It's all the way down, 
Maybe it's, it's sufficient to use this pick here to set it. Hmm. Really hard to say. Okay, try with uh, with a thin deep hook from Sparrows. I have to lighten up the tension quite a bit. So, ah, that's counter. Ah, that's feedback here. Very good. But it's very really hard to set. I have to hold the tensioner in my fingers so that it doesn't slip because I'm releasing now all the tension from the plug and now my pick broke. Look at that, it's the second pick. But it was also a pick with a lot of um, uh, locks that it opened. Um, so the the part of the pick is still in the lock, but I don't think that it does affect picking because it's somewhere here in this in this area. So let's continue. Okay, that was a good click again. Not a good click. Feels like we are making progress. Maybe we are just hung on some uh, uh, T-pins. That would be great. So I I now really light at the tension because um, it's extremely unlikely to, to overset here in this stage. Okay, there is counter rotation from maybe two. I have to turn back the plug quite a bit. Maybe I'm losing everything now. Okay, I could set it, I believe, but lost all the, the good rotation from before. So let's see if I can repeat what I did before with the deep hook from Peterson. Okay. And with a deep hook it's, it's harder to feel the pins because you're going in sideways and you're not um, accessing the pin on the tip but on the side. And the feedback here is very um, it's like oversetting all the time, so no good feedback. I released tension a little bit and yeah, the plug rotation came back, so that means um, it was definitely an overset. Hmm. What kind of pick could I use? Maybe that's crazy, I use uh, uh, Deforest. And that was good. So plug returned and plug turned a little bit further. So we have definitely one T-pin insider here. Oh, that's good counter rotation. That's definitely a spool here. Maybe on two. It's really hard to set. Maybe I could could set it now. Cost the cup. And it's open. Yeah, look at that. Just uh, took me approximately five minutes or six minutes and a broken pick. All right, the William William Mansell oops, challenge lock is open. Oops, and it's almost, uh, almost lost it. <laughs> so, here we go. Ah, and here is the broken end part of the, of the pick. Um, I have replacements uh, for uh, for this type of pick, um, so not a big deal. And I really, um, yeah, I'm always sad when a pick breaks. Um, of course, um, I really like all my picks, and they do a great job. But this was also one of the uh, picks that I used a lot and also abused a lot. And of course, these are um, not lasting forever. And well, once in a while, uh, pick breaks, and then it gets replaced. All right, so let's uh, open it up. No, let's first look at the key. I'm curious to see the bidding. I need, ah, I will use the cutter knife that William Mansell sent me. We have pretty good bidding. Um, 
short one, deep one, a very very short one, two deep ones and a very short one uh, at the end. That's a pretty pretty nice bidding for a challenge lock. Very well selected. Great. And I don't think maybe... No, that's just cardboard as a... Um, yeah, to make it look nice and give it a um, bit of sturdiness. All right, so but now let's look at the lock. So now let's look at the lock in great detail. Here we have the plug. We can see threading in 1, 3, 4 and 6. Great job. And the plug is very very round. No flattening. Wonderful. Very nice lock. Very nice plug here. Okay. Uh, let's look at the pins really close. Here we go. Amazing pin work, very nice pins, great craftsmanship, look at that, wow, they are shiny, they are of various shape, very uh, creative, cool. So we have um, a, well, a spoolish kind of a key pin and a serrated in one as a driver and we have a double serrated a uh, key pin in two and a T pin as a driver with a standard key pin in three and a ah that's that's interesting we have a double serrated driver with a very sharp edge so this makes a lot of trouble in threaded chambers but I think number three yeah number three is threaded then we have a double spool or double serrated uh, key pin. We have a serrated uh, driver in four. We have a very nice uh, double or triple serrated key pin here in, f um, in five with a T-pin end and uh, serrated with a deep serration as a driver. And we have a long spoolish kind of uh, key pin in six with a uh, double serrated Key pin, uh, T pin <laughs> in six. Very cool work on the pins and various uh, springs. Uh, here is the plug again. I want to quickly see how effective the pins were in the in the chambers. That's effective. I think the the T pin is also effective. Um, but I can't really uh, put it in because it will fall out immediately. <laughs> the serrated was a key pin in his uh, previous life. It's also effective. Then this goes in here, also effective. Then we've got number five, and yeah, that's almost not effective so that's maybe you can feel a little bit of the serrations but here we have ah we have the the t-pin part coming uh, into play for number six all right that was the william mansell cherry pie lock that he made for me and sent to me so william thank you very much for this very interesting lock and um uh, for all the effort you put in uh, making these wonderful pins. Yeah, and uh, everybody else, thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye-bye. Bye-bye.